His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa toured yesterday the beaches of the Egyptian resort city of Sharm El Sheikh and viewed the efforts of the Egyptian government to develop the tourism sector in this stunning area, which features resorts that attract tourists from across the globe. His Majesty the King hailed the tourism facilities at Sharm El Sheikh Resort, its rich environment and diverse locations which create a boon for tourists and visitors. He hailed the projects undertaken in the resorts as well as the diverse, rich programs and activities being lined up to attract tourists from over the world. His Majesty said the development projects in Sharm El Sheikh prove that Egypt is a country of security, adding that Egypt will always be strong thanks to its leadership, its government and its people. During his tour with the accompanying delegation, His Majesty the King swam in one of the beaches of Sharm El Sheikh Resort and played beach volleyball and golf. He stressed the importance of such sports which enable people to keep fit and entertain themselves so as to perform better at work. His Majesty the King stressed the importance for people to take full advantage of holidays to entertain themselves at local, Gulf or Arab tourism resorts. At the end of his tour, His Majesty the King expressed his confidence that Egypt would be a prime destination for Arabs and people from across the globe, adding that diversified sources of revenue will yield economic prosperity. His Majesty the King also visited Sham El Sheikh City and was welcomed by South Sinai Governor Major General Khalid Fouda and senior officials who hailed his visit, which they said reflects the existing strong bilateral relations. His Majesty the King toured Na'ama Bay and King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Highway and met a number of Arab and foreign tourists holding cordial talks with them. He stressed the importance of Sham El Sheikh City, which hosted many regional and international conferences and key events, underlining its contribution to Egypt's economic revenue. He commended the efforts of the Egyptian government to ensure security at tourist facilities and the provision of premium services for visitors and for tourists. He wished Egypt further progress and prosperity, led by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today in Bahrain after an official visit to the Egyptian city of Sham al Sheikh at the invitation of the Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al Sisi, in which he discussed with the Egyptian President a number of regional and international issues. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. Earlier, His Majesty the King was bid farewell by the Governor of the South Sinai, Major General Khalid Fouda, Bahrain's Ambassador to Egypt, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, and senior Egyptian officials. His Majesty the King held a telephone call with the Egyptian President, Abdul Fattah Al Sisi, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm reception and generous hospitality. He affirmed that this visit will strengthen joint bilateral cooperation, coordination and achieve both countries' aspirations in many fields and wished Egypt and its people further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of the Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the British Conservative Party member MP Alan Duncan on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty hailed the brotherly historic relations between the Kingdom and the United Kingdom in various fields. He also affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to enhance these relations in order to achieve the best interests for the two countries and their peoples. His Majesty briefed Mr. Duncan with the results of the successful visit to Egypt and affirmed the importance of supporting Egypt in combating extremism and terrorism. His Majesty discussed with the British MP the latest regional and international developments as well as topics of mutual interest. His Majesty also highlighted the United Kingdom's major role alongside the international community in maintaining regional peace and stability.